All right, we're here at a secret location doing some sixth generation prototype testing. I'm here with the program's chief test pilot, Adam Wilkins. Adam, it's good, good morning. To you. As you guys know, my wife shot a 12 second video a few weeks ago as we were driving to Adam's hometown, actually, of Easton for the Waterfall Festival, and we saw him driving down Route 50 in the Pulse, uh, which is an amazing looking motorcycle car what is Auto cycle. it autocycle autocycle and so we posted that as kind of a, a laugh and and it had over 200 and whatever thousand views and a few days later adam emailed me and said hey somebody told me that this video was up there and i'm the guy driving the pulse so he also attached another video of he and adam who's actually behind the camera here his brother-in-law and also his Wizzo, let's just call, we'll, we'll call him his weapon system officer, who's operating the optics on the video that I made into the second sixth generation prototype episode where they're crossing the Bay Bridge over the Chesapeake Bay, which is kind of a fun video as well. So long story short, I asked Adam if he was coming to Annapolis anytime soon. He said yes. So here we are on uh, a few days later and we're going to take it for a spin. So Adam, can you walk us through some of the basic controls and describe what the Pulse really is? So the Pulse is classed as an auto cycle. It rides on three wheels, even though it has four, it only ever rides on three. The outriggers you can raise manually. So because it has one wheel at the back and two at the front, it has seat belts, a roll bar, a steering wheel and a clutch is classed as an auto cycle. Let's take a look at our decal here. Is this anything specific besides... Her name's Tinker. Tinker. Because I'm always in the barn tinkering on this thing. <laughs> and is the, the number on the side... The uh, number is P073. This was number 73 out of the factory. Adam, zoom in on the number there. Okay, so let's take a look at the controls. We'll put the canopy back and kind of point out what the basic controls are here. Okay, so... Uh, it's got a regular three pedal system, a clutch, a brake, and an accelerator. We've uh, got Tom Cruise control uh, and an eject button, which is a one time only use. Generally, that's the tip. That's <laughs> it's pretty easy to drive. It's a six speed uh, manual, and uh, I'm, sure you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll manage just fine. So I'm going to jump in the back, and Adam's going to give me a demo. Uh, uh, at first for the first evolution and then we'll see if I can't uh, be be the pilot and we're going to drive around uh, the city here a little bit. Make sure we're in neutral, engine on, exhaust fan on, fire her up. We're good to go. Forward is first and then from there on second, third, fourth, all the way back to sixth. When we come to a hold, press it forwards until you come to first and you get to the neutral. Okay. So once we're in neutral, forward for first and we're good to go.
We, we accomplished the urban low altitude test points for the sixth generation fighter prototype. So I know some of the big boys probably have an advantage over the Pulse, you know, your, your Lockheed Martins and your Boeings, but we're gonna say that this thing should be a competitor. So, so the the hashtag we want to use is Pulse for NGAD. Hashtag Pulse for NGAD. That's the one we want to get Adam into the mix for the sixth generation fighter airplane. All right. We're kidding, of course. So Thanks again, Adam. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. That was great, great fun.